Hey guys, uh, I got some uh, work that I'm going to do to this, uh, some upgrades, some maintenance, uh, some protection, and yada yada. Uh, the uh, first thing I'm going to get started on here today is, it occurs to me, it doesn't matter how careful I am, uh, I'm always stepping on this paint this uh, exposed area here I'm always hitting it I'm, I'm hitting it up in here and then you know down in there and uh, just just naturally the way your feet is positioned to get on and off the thing um, yeah I know they would I guess I'm gonna try this again since uh, my camera shut off and didn't give me a reason why uh, fucking GoPro Jesus Christ anywho um, yeah, start start at the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some repairs, some uh, protect uh, upgraded maintenance, and uh, well, yeah, some upgrades, general maintenance. You know, just some petty shit here that's been bugging me. Um, little tick 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 sound that the engine makes uh, tells me it's uh, well overdue for a valve adjustment. So we're gonna get into that, and yeah, you know, just some real basic general stuff here, but. Uh, what's been bugging me here and it doesn't matter how careful i am it's just the way i'm positioned my feet are pointing this way or you know some some bastardized position i'm never sideways when i'm getting on or off the fucking thing and i'm always stepping on you know this ex exposed paint surface here and it's and i'm, I'm starting to <laughs> starting to make a mess out of it um you know i hit it up in here and i hit it over here so uh yeah, hopefully to uh protect any uh, further, you know, scuffs or whatnot. I got this stuff here. Um, good old Amazon just showed up today. I'll put a link in the description. Of course, of course, and uh, uh, whatever, it's 60 inches. I would say five feet. Yeah, five feet worth. Uh, I'm hoping, because it's just really the corners that, you know, I'm, I've got the issues with. I'm hoping I can split it in half. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to split this right in half and, uh, you know, be able to cover this lip entirely and also this lip entirely. That's my game plan anyway. Um, do both sides, of course, of course. And, yeah, should be good forevermore. It's, uh, it's kind of like that, that truck bed liner, but it's, uh, I don't know what the hell it's made out of. I'm, I'm thinking it's some kind of a urethane, but it's not, it's not sandpaper. And that was wait for the damn bikes it's not sandpaper and that was important to me I didn't want something like grip tape which you can get which is cheaper than this but this wasn't expensive this was like 20 bucks uh, 20 20 couple dollars whatever to my door but uh, I, I wanted this because for well picture sandpaper <laughs> everything's gonna stick to it literally everything's gonna stick to it you're never gonna be able to clean it this stuff is not that this is like a flexible urethane with a sticky backing. Um, it's just like that truck bed liner. You know, it's textured, but it's not necessarily, you know, grippy. So uh, this should do, I, I haven't touchy feeled the thing yet. Um, I ought to put it in my hands and then I can tell you, but whatever, I'm gonna get into uh, putting that on here today. And uh, yeah, then, like I said, we got some maintenance we gotta do and uh, I've got, uh, I got a trailer hitch coming. I'm going to uh, make some some subtle fixes and adjustments here towards the back. I was going to build one a, a trailer hitch attachment for this because, well, I'm me and I enjoy doing that stuff. But I figured it's going to take me a couple days minimum to do it. By the time it's painted and curing time and welding and all that fabrication stuff is done, and then I seen them. You know like really heavy duty shit that you know basically is what i would build myself for 60 some odd dollars and i'm like yeah you know what it ain't worth my time just go buy the damn thing so uh i found one that i like and uh it'll be here um this week so whatever this is my uh whatever beginning of of, of this project here so uh let's get into it It is toasty, toasty out here. 
but uh, because this, this stuff comes in a roll, I thought it prudent to, uh, well, put it out in the sun. Well, not in the sun, but out in the out in the heat and uh, flatten her out just a touch. I marked center. I found center. I used a uh, well a digital caliper, um, so I was as precise as I could be. Uh, my error is only going to be in the width of the ballpoint pen that I used and whatever human error that there is um, but I found center it's uh it's about 70 70 millimeters uh, total width so it would be you know half that 35 uh, I didn't do it in inches because well it's fractional and I hate them I, I run on SAE. I, I understand SAE, but I can't I can't do the math in my head. Um, so I, I like, oh God, I, I just wish everything was metric. I'd have to relearn some stuff, but hey, I would do it. Anyway, long story short, I'm going to cut this in half because that's gonna give me about an inch, inch and three eighths, eh, ballparkish, about an inch and three eighths to literally cover all my edges it will cover them all I, I i you know i can do it any which way i like but uh specifically this one that's more than what i need and this one again more than what i need uh it's going to work out as long as i can channel my uh inner pin striping skills that i used to once once upon a time i used to have them uh, i used to do this stuff <laughs> regularly but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, how stretchy this stuff is. It's, it's a whole lot thinner than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I know I read the specs and whatnot. It, it's, it's like 7 mil, something like that. Look, I got a buddy. I got a buddy. Anywho, um, I don't know. Once I start taking the, the uh, protective cover off the back here. I don't know if it's going to stretch. I don't know how it's going to give like regular uh, pinstriping wool. It's it's pretty stretchy stuff. You can you can really work with it. But uh, whatever. First things first. I'm going to cut this guy in half. Not the whole thing, but uh, enough to do the outer edges for sure. And yeah, kind of go from there. All right. I'm already set up, so I'm just going to get into her. Just real quick and dirty so you get the idea. It gives me enough room, wiggle room, that, uh, you know, I can cover the full width of the, the, uh, I don't know what you call that, a skid plate? A foot plate? Yeah, probably a foot plate. And still, you know, wrap up here around contours and whatnot. You know, fully wrap around. It protects all my edges and corners. Um, and the same here on the front. Sorry. I should have set up on a tripod, but I didn't. Um, see what I mean? You get the general idea. So I'm going to try and maybe fail. At getting this nice and even on both sides but uh, whatever I'm gonna get to doing that and I'll show you the bow well you see the before I'll show you the after once it's all done all right but uh, I'm gonna get into it I was just thinking um, because I, I didn't uh, I literally did not square off so I didn't create a dead square cut um, it doesn't matter because you know sharp edges want to lift always always i mean this is what i've learned from my years and years of pinstriping uh, use one of these guys round them off cut it off you know round edges typically well they stay better so uh i'm gonna round off both ends just because well i got this got this little thing here and i can do it real quick and dirty simple and uh yeah <laughs> I, I, I could do, you know, other stuff, but I'm, I'm just going to round it off. Round corners, well, yeah, exactly. Corner. Find the corner of a circle. I'd love for somebody to show me a corner in a circle. 
Anywho, I'm going to eliminate corners. Alright, I guess it's time to clean her up and, well, make it good or make it bad one way or the other. It's going to happen. Uh, I should use an air compressor, but I'm not covering the whole damn thing. I don't... <laughs> I'm not doing the whole damn thing. So, it's good enough. You know what I mean? Just hit it with some alcohol. And it'll be fine. It is hot. Stupid hot. If alcohol dulls your paint, well, clearly, there ain't no clear coat. That's pretty disappointing, but I didn't expect anything more than that, so tis what it tis. I think that's pretty good right there. If I can hold that line.
that works okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's a compound bend right there. That's, but this stuff is good and flexible. That's, uh, that's what I was hoping it would do. That's what it did. That's all right. I mean, maybe it's not the prettiest looking thing, but uh, for doing what it needs to do, that's gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna do the other one real quick, and then. Uh, yeah, get on to uh, the finished product here. I slipped with the razor blade. <laughs> God damn it. I did that. Oh well, I gotta use it, so, uh, you know, it's not gonna be the end of my world. It's still gonna cover what I need to cover, but uh, it just won't be quite pretty, I guess. Close. that right there. You know what? I gotta say, I like that. Here, check this out. I mean, again, it might not be the prettiest looking thing in the world, but uh, inside edge, outside edge, inside outside, completely covered. And, and, you know what? That's, that's pretty okay. And it, it is nice and flexible. Of course, I left it out here on this crazy freaking hot day. So there's that. It had no choice to get soft. I'm soft on this hot ass freaking day. But mm, that's on there. Now, let's see how long it lasts. But now, see what I mean? Because this is how I, you know, enter, exit. I, I'm never perpendicular. I'm never, you know, I'm always what I guess you would call it asymmetric. I'm always cattywampus. Um, as you, you know, anybody would be getting up on a tractor, left foot, right foot over, you, you know what I mean? So, uh, hey, like I said, 
maybe not the prettiest thing in the world, but protection is what the, the whole point and purpose of this this particular portion of the video is all about. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do the other side and call her a day, I think. All right, I'll show, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll show when it's all done. I know what happened to this camera. <laughs> took me a moment to figure it out. Well, it took a, a while for the camera to tell me. But, uh, hey, it overheated too fucking hot out here. Anyway, um, I, uh, yeah, I got, I got there. <laughs> I got both sides. I'm not done. I'm, what I've thought about, what I've, I've decided to do, because I kept some of the full width and I still have, uh, I don't know, about two feet of it left. I'm going to put about a six inch patch back in here and probably another one of these up in ha somewhere up in there. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll go a little, sh I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out, but uh, whatever. Getting there, just about done. So, uh, next. Just real quick and dirty. There we go. All I gotta do is cut that out and then literally, uh, well, lay it on top of that and cut that out along with this, well, what's going to be a template. This is going to be a template. It's going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be. It's going to work just fine. So, uh, yeah. Show and tell when it's all said and done. Something like that. Done and done. Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna find out how well it applies. Well, this is just gonna be like a heel kick buffer. So uh, I know it applies well, but uh, I'm gonna find out where it needs to go and we'll move on from there. All right, I uh, I added the kicker, well, literally the kicker uh, on both sides. It was pretty easy to do. I was trying to overthink it and then I just stopped doing that and I decided I'm gonna line up top edge with top edge and top edge and uh, you know, just kind of eyeball it. Uh, and I'm, I'm good enough, I'm damn sure close enough. Nobody's going to be complaining about this. This sticker's off. <laughs> I'm right. They're not. Yeah, I'll show it to you. But uh, this is literally what I have left out of 60 inches. I did not make a single miscut, thankfully. So I can split this in half. And I can wrap the uh, upper edge yet. Yeah, if I could frame this fucking thing, huh? I think I'm going to do that. I mean, just because I can, not because I have to, not because my feet ever hit that, but, uh, you know what I mean? What, 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 literally, what the fuck am I going to do with this otherwise? Yeah, I'm going to split it and I'm going to wrap it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, so far I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, this, this works just like pinstriping, a very heavy pinstriping. But it's stretchable, it's flexible, it is contourable, it is stickyable, it is goodable. <laughs> it is it is okay. Um, now you've seen where I keep this guy. You've seen it. My garage, my my whatever pole building. That is going to be the true testament because it gets so fucking hot in there. Um, it's hot as balls out here right now. Um, but it gets so much hotter in there. It easily hits 120 easily so.
That is okay. That is okay. I ain't got nothing to complain about there. Literally nothing. I'm gonna do the other side, and then I guess we'll do, uh, well, finish off show and tell. Okay, I am finished. Uh, I'm not gonna do it anything special, but uh, quick and dirty show and tell. Top side down. Left side. Right side. And I don't know. I guess I can do a uh, kind of like a cheeky ass uh, porn video. Chick, 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 boom, chick, boom, boom. Chicka bong, chicka bong, bong, something like that. Anyway, long story short, this is all that I've got left. I don't know, it's uh, three and a half inches long, full width. <laughs> I literally used, well, everything aside from this little patch. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. We are going to find out. You know where I keep this thing. It sits in a pole building, which is going to get stupid freaking hot. It is stupid hot. But we're calling for rain tonight, so uh, this guy's going to go back home, back where it lives normally. And, uh, yeah, go from there. But, uh, I don't know. I could do some glamour shots here. Ooh, ah. This sticker is off center. No, it's that sticker. Whoever put that sticker on, they did it wrong. Not me. My shit is damn near fucking right. It's it's so close, you probably wouldn't be able to see it with the human eye if that main sticker in the center wasn't so cattywampus. It is. I mean, look look where the steering wheel, is. steering wheel is, right there. You can see how far off center that thing is. So, I mean, <laughs> hey, pick your poisons. But, uh, hey, whatever. <laughs> I'm happy enough with it. We got her. I think it's very well good enough protected 